The 2023 NFL Draft is just two days away, so why don't we get the good vibes going now? Hit the sub button. Let's put out some positive energy heading into night one of the NFL Draft. What's good? Welcome into the Bengals Breakdown. I'm Abby Alonzo. Like I said, we are just two days out from night one of the 2023 NFL Draft. And coming up, we're going to talk about some targets, some draft targets the Bengals could go after in round one, maybe in round two, three, four, maybe even seven. We'll get there. But before we do, there's a couple things that I want to just kind of give you a quick update on Lael Collins' injury update. Now, we know that the injury is actually worse than we thought it was. He came out and said just a couple days ago that he actually tore not only his ACL, but his MCL and PCL as well. Now, he had surgery in mid-January, and he's saying that he is putting every ounce of effort into being back for the first game. Not preseason, but the first game of the regular season. Knowing that he had surgery mid-January, that is going to be a very tough ask, and it will take a lot, a lot for him to be ready to go for game one, but he's saying he's going to do his best to do that. We wish a speedy recovery for him. Of course, you want to see Lael Collins back on the field, but this brings me to my next point. If he's not on the field, is it going to be Jonah Williams at right tackle? Remember, he kind of got bumped whenever the Bengals signed Orlando Brown. He requested a trade. It hasn't really uh, unfolded that way. The Bengals haven't really made any moves. There hasn't been much discussion about trading Jonah Williams. So it looks like it's going to be Jonah Williams and Lael Collins kind of competing for that position, that right tackle position, if Collins is ready to go for game one. But even if he's not, they're going to be competing for that position. Lael Collins did say that he and Jonah have a very good relationship. Jonah's going to be fine. He's a hell of an NFL player. He's a first round pick. He's done it. I've got all the confidence in the world in Jonah with the type of person he is. It's like every one of these guys in here. To me, man, all it is is we're going to be better and we're going to have depth and we're going to be deep and we're coming and we're not stopping. Now, Lael Collins is ready to go. He's fired up. Clearly, he is not worried about competing with Jonah Williams for that right tackle position. He's pumped to have him on the roster. He wants Jonah Williams to stick around. Will he, though? That is the big question. Will Jonah Williams play in Cincinnati in 2023? Let me know what you think. If you think he'll end up getting the trade that he asked for, type N for no. And if you think you know where he's going, let me know in the comment section as well. If you think he's going to stick around, he'll be a Bengal in 2023. Type Y for yes down in that comment section. The draft is two days away, people, and lucky for you. We've got live coverage on our main channel at youtube.com slash chat sports TV. We will be live every day for each round for every single pick. While ESPN and the other big networks are going to commercial break, we don't take any breaks here. We will have every ounce of information, everything you want to see, every pick, every background, every stat. We've got it for you, so make sure you tune in to our live NFL draft coverage again on our main channel at youtube.com slash chat sports TV. Just two days and we'll be ready to go. Let's talk some draft prospects, some targets here that the Bengals could go out and get. See the first one on the screen here is a tight end, clearly, because hey man, got to do something about this tight end room, right? Dalton Kincaid, the first tight end that I want to talk about. Look, he is one of the best tight ends in this draft. That is uh, no question here. There's quite a few tight ends uh, that could be a good addition to the uh, Bengals roster, but Dalton Kincaid, probably one of the top guys. Very good pass catcher. He's often compared to Zach Ertz. Another offensive weapon, really, if you just want to break it down, put it into simpler terms, he would be a very good... Another weapon for Joe Burrow, kind of you lost Hayden Hurst. You bring in Dalton Kincaid to try to hopefully uh, kind of fill that void and pick up where Hurst left off. You did sign Irv Smith on a one-year kind of prove-it deal. You're looking for Dalton Kincaid to have a little bit more of a bigger, a bigger role here. The next guy I want to talk about, Tucker Craft, another tight end, and we're going to hammer this tight end position just solely because it is such a big need on this roster. 
Tucker Craft is a very gifted athlete. And when I say that, I mean, he just kind of gets things done. He makes things happen. Um, he's an extremely versatile player, meaning he can play in line, he can play slot, he can play outside, and he does all three of those things well. Coming into an offense that kind of is elite, it's nice to have another guy that can kind of add some versatility and just switch things up. Again, beneficial. And he's often compared to Dallas Godert, another guy that really just would add another level to an offense that is already very high powering and kind of fill that tight end role a little bit more. And the third tight end I want to talk about is Zach Kuntz. Now, he's Kuntz, excuse me, is a little bit of a, not later round, but probably not as high up as Dalton Kincaid. Had some good, good, had a good season 2021, 2022. He's basically an athletic freak, to put it lightly. You know, he just, this guy is insane to watch. He's fun to watch. He probably needs a little bit of help with some run blocking, but that's not something you can't coach. You can't kind of coach him up. He, Hayden Hurst did the same thing, needed some coaching, got some coaching from the Bengals staff, and look how he ended up. So, again, Kuntz, same deal here. He had a great combine, a great showing. He really uh, made a case for himself. And I think he could be coached into a starter. Again, This all three guys here are really good options when you need a tight end. Again, you lost Hayden Hurst. You've got Irv Smith on a one-year prove-a deal. You need some more depth. You really need a powerhouse, somebody to come in and kind of just round out the offense, if you know what I mean. Pick a tight end, the three guys that I talked about. If you like Dalton Kincaid, type DK. If you like Tucker Craft, type TK. And if you like Zach Kuntz, type ZK. Lots of Ks there, so make sure you go down to the comment section. Elaborate on why you picked them. Let me know what you think. Love reading y'all's comments and the feedback. The next three guys I want to talk about starting off with Eli Ricks. Now, the cornerback room needs some help. You lost a couple guys. Need to kind of uh, solidify things, add some more depth, fill some of those holes, kind of round it out, make it more solid. Eli Ricks could be a guy to help do that. He would contribute immediately because of his size. And he's kind of hit his ceiling, which is exactly why he would contribute immediately. But if you're looking for a guy that maybe has a higher ceiling, hasn't quite reached his full potential, Eli Ricks wouldn't be it. He does have excellent technique, and he is known as pick six Ricks. He had eight interceptions since high school. Insane stats. Pretty good guy in coverage. Another guy that would probably come in the later rounds, but still could be a very good addition to the cornerback room. Cameron Mitchell, DB, another guy to help out the defense because we know it needs a little bit of help. Lost some guys during the offseason that were pretty vital to the Bengals defense in 2022. Now, he's got good quickness, footwork, very, very good uh, instincts. He has a good feel, a good read on who he's covering and just for the flow of the game. And he can keep up with speedy receivers. So oftentimes he doesn't allow those guys to kind of create separation. And if they ha happen to, he's able to kind of make up some ground, kind of get back on, on top of things quickly. He is very good at that. Uh, pretty good 2022 stats. Again, another guy to just kind of come in and help pad or kind of uh, fix up that defense that did see a lot of guys leave in the 2023 offseason. And finally, we're going to round it out with a running back because there is so much – uh, not clarity, the opposite of clarity with the Joe Mixon situation. We're not really sure where he stands, where the organization stands with Joe Mixon, what they plan to do. So it's not completely crazy to think that the Bengals could go grab a running back in the draft. Now, even if they decide to keep Joe Mixon this year, that's not to say they plan to re-sign him. So maybe you bring in a guy like Tank Bigsby to – be paired with Joe Mixon on the roster this year, kind of get a feel for things, learn from Mixon, and then he becomes kind of your lead running back in the future. This guy's got good production after contact. He's a tank, no pun intended. 
Dang, Figsby. Uh, he makes stuff happen. Look, he didn't have the best O-line at Auburn, but he still managed to put up some really, really, really good numbers with a pretty broken down O-line, which you give him a good O-line, he might have uh, some way higher numbers, clearly. Uh, in Cincinnati, depending on how they decide to go about things with Jonah Williams, Lael Collins, Orlando Brown, he may have some better production there if he lands in Cincinnati. Look, he's not great in pass protection, but again, could be coached up. And if he's paired with Joe Mixon, that's somebody he'd be able to learn from, kind of adjust himself to the NFL and just be coached up into some better uh, qualities, better techniques in the pass protection realm. As always, we appreciate y'all for watching. We will keep y'all updated on all the news around the Bengals and the NFL draft that does start on Thursday. We will have live coverage on our main channel. So be sure to check that out. Subscribe to the Bengals Breakdown, and we will see y'all soon.